Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. Today I'll be painting a sunset scene, so it's gonna be really simple. Well, I hope, because you know, sometimes uh, a simple um, image can actually be a little challenging than it, act, I mean, than it seems to be. <laughs> so I'm gonna sketch first the subject. The colors that I'll be mentioning in this video will be mentioned in the description box below. So you can check them out as well. So we have light brown, titanium white, some black, or you can use um, a combination of all the colors that you have so that it's not super duper dark black. And cadmium yellow. We'll be using as well some magenta to create some pink colors. I forgot to prepare that color right there. Okay. And I don't think I'll be using burnt sienna today, but we'll see, okay? So I'm going to background first the 11 by 14, uh, 14 by 11 canvas paper that I have here. And I'll be using a size, oh, okay, one inch flat brush. All right, and I'm going to identify first where things are going to go. I might use my primary blue here, but that would be later. So I'm going to use my magenta in identifying first where the horizon is going to go. It will be just above the midline. It's going to be like this. Okay. All right, so let's underpaint now the sky and the water part. So for the sky, I'll be using some orange and pink colors. But let's start with the light brown. So I'm going to dab onto my light brown. I'm going to add a little bit of my black color here just to tone it down. And I'm going to apply it right here on top. All right, and we'll be mixing or we'll be blending today so that um, our sunset looks more like natural. Okay, I'll be getting now my yellow. So I'm getting my yellow. And right after that brown color, I'll be using my yellow with a bit of white. You can go back to your brown just to do the blending, but it's uh, it should be more yellowish than brownish this time. Sorry about the noise, guys. I'll be getting my magenta. <laughs> I'll be getting my magenta and I'll be mixing it with the light brown color that I have here. And using that color, I'll be painting this lower part of the sky okay more yellowish color right in the middle section All right, and then down right here. I'll be adding a little bit of white to everything that we have here, just to make sure that it's a little bit light. It's not that colorful, okay? Should not be that colorful. Okay, more browns right here. Okay. Great. I'll be toning down the later the colors later. For now, let's just allow it to be like that. Okay. And now let's do some coloring uh, on the water part. Hmm. 
we will grade down the sky later. Let's just wait for the paint to dry. So we're going to use the same colors, okay? More orangey. More orange colors. I'll be adding white so that it's more pastel looking color. I'll be adding tiny bit of black just to tone the colors down. Okay, make it more orange. And using this color, I'm just going to go down. And also the brush strokes that you should have is more um, horizontal. Not more actually, but just horizontal. Right. Maintain the horizontal. Okay, let me just move my paint. All right. Okay, now I'm going to get my yellow. I'm going to mix it with white so that it's like pastel pastel yellow. I'm going to add a tiny bit of my black so that it's muted. Okay, and we're going to touch on certain areas right here on the water part. But you don't want to overdo this step. Just slightly touch on some areas. Okay, like that. Okay, now I'm going to get my magenta. Mix it with the existing colors right here to create some orange. Maybe. Okay, like that. And then some yellows. Okay, now I'm going to get my blue. I told you that I'll be using blue, right? And I'll be changing my brush. So using my blue, I'm going to mix it with the dark color that I have here, or black, if you have that. Okay, make sure that you apply more blue than black. And then we're going to do the horizon. So just paint over the uh, initial, um, initial uh, horizon line. Okay, and I'm going to do some more horizontal dry brush, uh, brush strokes. Again, maintain the horizontal um, brush strokes.
We'll be using our palette knife later to create more water effects. But now let's just do some dry brushing. Up to down here. Okay, like that. I'm going to get my primary blue, mix it with my magenta to create some violet colors. Let's darken the horizon line using some violet. If you already have your violet, you can just simply add burnt sienna to that so that it's darker. But I'm just going to use my magenta and blue and mix them together. And I'm going to apply tiny bits of this color. I'm going to darken these sides simply because I want some framing. Okay, like visually framing this one. Like that. And then now using my dark color or black, if you have uh, your black color, pure black. Just use that and let's create some silhouette of rocks and trees. I'm even painting over the springy section of my sketchbook just to give it a like solid look. So this will extend right here. Okay. I'm going to use a smaller brush. Or maybe a fan brush. 
is to create a um, tiny silhouette of bushes and leaves going on right here. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, like that. Okay, now I'm going to add a tiny bit of white to the existing gray or black color that I have here so that we lighten some areas. Okay, it's like giving it... Um, giving it rough edges. And this is a very subtle um, detailing, but you know, just make sure that it's there. Okay. All right. We're going to allow this area to dry. Let's go back to the waters. So I'm going to use my um, big brush. Okay. I mean, it's relatively big. The one inch flat brush that we used earlier. I'm going to dab onto my white and mix it with the gray color that we have here. Just water it down so that uh, you can glaze over um, a huge part of the painting in which this is the water part. So just glaze over it using some watered down gray. Okay, Just like this. You don't have to paint over the whole thing. Just make sure that you run your brush on those areas. Okay, with this color, of course, lightening it, okay? Let's um, lighten the color. It's too bright and it's too uh, striking. We don't want that. Okay, and I'm going to use the same color on the sky part, lightening it, okay? Just be careful not to... Just be careful not to touch on the silhouette of mountain or rock portion because I know that it's still wet at this moment. Okay. All right, just glaze over. The purpose is to just um, remove the brightness. Okay. All right, just like that. So we've already toned the colors down. Okay, now using a smaller brush, let's redefine the horizon line since we glaze it with some light color. And we use violet for that, if you remember. So I'm just going to mix my magenta and blue, maybe add a tiny bit of black, just to make it more um, defined. Okay. And just go over the horizon line. Okay. And then go back to some areas that you want to darken. Yeah, here as well. Down here, I'm going to add more blue and white. So right here. 
this dark blue color will serve or serves as depth and shadows you know I'm gonna do some dark markings as well All right. I think we can um, do the sun. So I'm going to get my smaller brush. Okay. I'm going to dab onto my uh, titanium white. So the sun will be right here. It's not very um, typical because usually painters would paint it right in the middle. I want to paint it right. Uh, like on the right side. Okay, I'm going to allow this first to dry. Okay, let's allow that first to dry. Let's use this white already. Dab onto your orange color. If you already lost your orange color, just mix your yellow and red. And using white, okay, let's create some reflections. Again, just go uh, diagonal, I'm oh, sorry, yeah, um, horizontal way. Right under the sun, okay. I'm going to get my titanium white. Let's do brighter highlights down here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to make some more orange colors. So I'm going to mix my magenta plus yellow. This is a stronger um orange and let's create some patterns just outside the 
white colors. So like next to those highlights. Oops. And I accidentally touch the wet sun. Okay. And for me to be able okay, to correct this one, I'm going to dab onto my magenta okay. and mix it with blue. Create a more purpley color. Okay. I'm just going to spread that color above it. But again, try to make sure that you blend. Okay, I'm actually making it worse. So you see how on the spot I correct the painting. Um, that's how I learn as well. It's too wet, actually. It's too wet or it's too thick. That's it. I applied too heavily. That's why it's taking time to, you know, really uh, dry, dry out. So I'm getting more orange colors. Mix it with white. Soften it. And just darken the corners.
Now let's use the palette knife. As I told you, we'll be using the palette knife. I'll be dabbing onto my blue. Okay. And then magenta. Let's create some depth. Or small movements in the water. If you have ultramarine, you can use the ultramarine directly. I just don't have ultramarine. Okay, I really want to highlight the sun already. Gonna get my pure yellow. Let's paint the sun with some yellow color. I mean, it's still wet, but I can manage. I can manage. You can reshape it if you want to. All right, like that. You can add a little bit of yellow right here. Okay, let's tab onto our white or and gray. Okay, water it down again, just like what we did with the sky earlier. So just soften it because again, we don't want um. Too bright sky. It's almost night time. Okay, the at the setting of this painting it is like almost night time. Okay, I'm gonna dab onto my white. I'm just gonna add it to my gray, just to lighten things up a bit on some areas. Control your hand so that you maintain the hori uh, horizontal way of applying the paints. Okay. Then more orange. 
you add white to your orange so that it's more of pastel. Right here. If your paintbrush is getting stiffer, as you apply the paint, you can wet it. You can wet the tip of the brush so that it's smoother. Let me just check it from the camera view. All right. I think we did this very, very quickly. I'm just going to um, lessen the brightness of my light. I think it's too bright. All right, like that. Okay, now let's go back to using some white. Paint the center with this white color. Just the center. You don't have to cover everything white. We still want some yellow, like yellow crown, you know, and just around the sun. Okay, like that. Okay, now I'm going to use my magenta to glaze over this part. Okay, like that. And make, make some areas look uh, brighter. I will glaze this middle section uh, with some brown, uh, with some light color. Let's glaze this area with some dark color. Okay. So using some watered down black or dark colors that you have. Okay. I'm going to glaze this area with some dark colors. Okay. 
just like that. And using some light colors. Let's place this area with some bright colors or light colors. This part. Okay, like that. Actually, this is nice. Okay, now I'm going to use my palette knife. I'm going to dab onto my white. And in case some um, colors mix with the white color, it's okay. Just proceed. Let's continue. So I'm using the edge of the palette knife. Okay, just the edge. And um creating some patterns that we would not have created if we're just using a regular brush. And again, if you see a little bit of weirdness, just go ahead and remove that. It's fine. Again, try to make the section right under the sun brighter compared to this area. Okay. And I'm going to relayer it one more time with pure white. Okay. And maybe using, okay. using black, I'm going to redefine the rocky portion. And then using some white, okay, just go around, slightly highlight, okay. Slightly highlight this part, like the edge. Just go around the edge, try to highlight it. Since the edges are irregular, you can make your highlight very um, minimal. You don't have to uh, highlight every single side of this. Just make sure that it is highlighted. Okay, like that. I'm going to dab onto my blue. And then add white so that it's light blue. 
as you go near you, okay, as you go near the viewer's sight, you lighten the blue color by adding white. Alright. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Let's create some more depth. Again, I'm just going to go back to the sun because I really want it to be bright. Okay, I think I chose the wrong brush. It's too dry. Mm-hmm. I think I chose the wrong brush. Yeah, like that. All right, I really love this one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now I'm going to use a little bit of pink. So I'm going to mix my white with my magenta to create some pink color. And I'm just going to go over the horizon line very slightly very uh carefully That. And try to blend. Hey, this is very nice. It's very simple. And using some lighter grays. Okay, I'm just going to slightly... Okay, let's make it dark.
just apply some gray colors down here. Okay, I think we're finished. What do you think? It's very simple, really, for beginners. So I'm going to sign this now. This is finished. Okay, I'm going to sign it using my white so that you can see it. And I'm going to sign it maybe right here. Okay, so we're done. So I hope you enjoy that one. Very quick, right? I hope you enjoy that one and I hope you paint along with me. If you like this painting tutorial, let me know in the comment section below. If you're painting along with me, let me know as well in the comment section below and see you next week, guys. Have a great time. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love you.